Senator Leah Landrum Taylor of Phoenix, the state's highest ranking Democrat and only African American female lawmaker, was ousted and replaced by another Democrat, Anna Tovar of Tolleson. That's right, and now some of the members of the African American community are upset and it's causing some turmoil in the Democratic Party. Reporter Juan Magana has been working on the story and has the latest from the state capitol. Some people are mad, other people say that it's a power grab, and others say it's in the best interest of our state. You may try it one time, but you sent the message now. You stepped over the line. That's a response from Reverend Oscar Tillman, who is the president of the NAACP in Maricopa County, after hearing about the ousting of Senator Leah Landrum, one of the highest ranking African Americans in the state legislature. He claims the way it was done was a bid underhanded. The leadership that we put in there and think you can put who you want in over us, it won't happen. But while the new minority leader, Senator Anna Tovar, recognizes that the feelings were hurt by the way the change happened, the 13-member caucus will continue to move forward. You know, when January comes around, our caucus will not be split. Um, we will be joined together as a solid 13 in moving our Democratic priorities forward. Senator Steve Gallardo, the new minority whip, the third in the line in the power structure, says they wanted to take a new direction. To be more assertive, to be uh, more aggressive. We want to be able to present a message that shows the difference between Democrats and Tea Party Republicans. But conservative political analyst Constantine Coward believes the Democratic caucus made a misstep. Uh, if a team is winning, they don't want to change directions. So whatever nonsense you're hearing about how we wanted to go in a new direction, <laughs> you don't fire, you don't go to the Super Bowl and then fire your coach. Constantine raised another controversial issue. He questions whether or not Senator Anna Tovar is really in charge. Tovar is the new minority leader, but it's really a name only. Steve Gallardo is in charge. Um, he's, he's one of those guys who's smart enough not to actually take the chair, but to pick the person who belongs in the chair. Gallardo disagrees. Uh, the fact is, it was not my decision. The fact is, it's a, it's a caucus decision. I know people definitely have hurt feelings over this, but I think to be pointing fingers is not necessarily the route um, to go. Costadine says Tavar and Gallardo have the right to say whatever they like, but he says this is a pure political move. They'll, they'll have whatever excuses they'll use just for public consumption, but this was just, this was just a power grab. And Reverend Tillman says the power grab could be costly at the next election, especially among African-American voters. You will find out how important our vote will be. We will see what happens in the next elections. But what is clear, at least right now, is that there is a bit of a fracture in the relationship between Latino and the African-American communities. Two communities that have historically worked together, not apart. So our continued focus and I know Senator Gallardo's continued focus and for our leadership is to be moving forward and that's moving forward together with all communities. At the State Capitol, Juan Magana, Cronkite News.